job yet? No, not yet. Oh. Oh, hang on, here's one. Vacancies. Persons required to sew buttons on fifth floor of department store. Why do they want people to sew buttons on the floor? Beats me. Anyway, it sounds too difficult to me. And me. Here's an easy one. Answer to the name of Tiddles. I could do that. Call me Tiddles. Tiddles? Yes, what is it? See, easy. That's not a job. It's a missing cat. Oh. Oh, look, here's one. Wanted. Drivers and conductors for the Happy Valley Bus Company. Apply at Depot, Station Road. That'll do us. Come on. Hello, this is Happy Valley Bus Company. Inspector Happy speaking. <laughs> I'm sorry, madam, if your bus was delayed. Happy Valley Bus Company will endeavour to rectify the situation by employing more drivers as soon as is possible. Yes, it will be soon. Yes, very soon. As soon as we can. Well, it'll be a lot sooner if you get off the phone. <laughs> Excuse me, yes. is this the Happy Valley Bus Company that needs drivers? Yes. Well, I'm Paul and he's Barry. And I'm Happy. You don't look it. Inspector Happy. So, you want to work for Happy Valley Buses, do you? Yes, please. <laughs> right. Uh, two things you need. One, a bus, and two, passengers. Show us the bus and we'll get those passengers. <laughs> Just a <laughs> minute. <laughs> Here at Happy Valley Buses, we believe in free enterprise and privatisation. Yes. What does that mean? It means you have to have your own bus. We don't have a bus, do we? No. Well, don't waste my time. Come back when you have one. OK, then. Idiots. They're just like buses. You wait ages and two come along at once. Hey, look, for Just what we need. Hey, our very own bus. Just imagine, no more hanging about at rainy old bus stops. I've always wanted to work on a bus. Yeah. Oh, look, here comes the scrap merchant. Now, don't forget to haggle over the price. Haggle? Yeah, it means whatever price he asks for, always knock him down a bit. It's called haggling. I've never haggled before. This should be fun. What can I do for you, gentlemen? We're very interested in that bus over there. Well, that thing? Oh, it takes up so much room, I'd be glad to get it off my hands. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll give you £20 to take it away. £20? Oh, that's far too much. How about £10? Hey, just a minute, Barry. Even better, how about £5? Right you are, then. Here's £5. Nice doing business with you. <laughs> Thank you very much. There's nothing to this haggling business, is there? Not when you do it. <laughs> Come on, let's have a look at the bus. <laughs> that's working. Yeah. Let's check the line. OK. Headlight. Yes, the headlights are working. Indicator. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Yes. Oh, no, it's stopped altogether now. They're supposed to do that. Oh. Check the brake lights. I beg your pardon? Brake lights. All oh, right. <laughs> no! The red lights at the back. Oh! Come on, let's check the engine under the bonnet. Right, start the engine, Mary. <laughs> I think it needs a tune. OK. Neighbours, everybody needs good... Come on, let's get down the garage and clean it up. Right, come on, we've got a lot of work to do. Oh, I don't feel too good. Are you trying to get out of work again? No, I think I've got hay fever. Achoo! Hay fever. Well, let me have a look. Well, you don't feel very hot. Open your mouth. Say 99. 99. 99. 99. One more. 100. Stop messing about. Come on. Oh, 
Sorry. <laughs> hey, I think all that water's cleared up my hay fever. Really? <laughs> you spoke too soon. <laughs> oh, no, I think it's a cold now. Oh, dear. Mind you, worse still, it could be pneumonia. Pneumonia? Even worse still, it could be old pneumonia. What's old pneumonia? Same as pneumonia, only you've had it longer. <laughs> Turn it off, Barry. Well, we've done a good job there, Barry. Yeah. I never thought it'd be quite so easy to start up our own bus service. And believe you me, it isn't. It isn't. <laughs> My word, it isn't. My word, it isn't. Make no doubt about that. Make no doubt about that. We can't allow just anybody on the roads. We can't allow just anybody on the roads. The buses are there for the public's use. The buses are there for the public's use. And there are certain requirements... And there are certain requirements... ...which must be met under subsection 12, paragraph 8 of the Buses and Public Transport Services Act of 1986. And there are certain requirements... A failure to do so may result in prosecution. Oh, dear. What are we going to do now? Everything I say. Now, what about a timetable? Oh, that's easy. One, two is two, two, two is a four, three, two is a six, four, what two... What are you doing? That's the only times table I know. No, he means a bus timetable. Now stop wasting my time. Now tomorrow, I want to see a map of your proposed route, and also I want to see how many passengers you take on board. Why? Because if nobody uses your service, I will not grant you a license for public transport. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh dear. We've got to find a lot of passengers by tomorrow, or else. Or else what? Well, you heard what he said. I'll have to put plenty of these out, then. What are they? Oh. Oh. Well, I hope this works. Do you know what I'm getting worried about tomorrow? Don't worry. I'll think of something. Good morning. I require a map of your proposed route, as stated in Article 57, Subsection 12, Paragraph 3 of the Transportation Routes Act. Do you want to know where we're going as well? There you are. Oh, now then. I shall be on this route all day. But you shall not know when, and you shall not know where. The element of surprise, you see. Now remember, no passengers, no bus license. <laughs> I hope we get some passengers soon, Paul. Me too. What are you waving at? That man, he was waving at us. What man? The man who was standing by our bus stop sign. That was a passenger. Was he? That was a request bus stop. He was requesting us to stop. Oh. Sorry about that, eh? Oh, that's OK. This is a request stop, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, good. Do you know When I'm Cleaning Windows by George Formby? Yes. <laughs> This is no good. It's time to put my plan into action. OK.
right. If you two don't find a large number of passengers within the next hour, you can forget all about the running a bus service. Time for plan B, I think. Right. What's plan B? It follows plan A. Of course it does. Hey, where are you going? It's a passenger. A what? There's loads of these scarecrows standing about all over the place. We can stand them at our bus stops and use them as passengers. Hey, that's a good idea. I think. Well, at least it'll keep Inspector happy happy, won't it? Yeah. Come on. Gone. Hang on. He's just leaving. Good. Tell you what, I'll get this lot on the coach. You go and get some more. Right. To you. To me. To you. To me then. To you. Right. Off you go. See you later. Come on, lads. <laughs> oh, silly you. Oh dear. No good, is it? You're right, sorry about that. You sit up there. Oh, come on, get up. That's it. That's you comfortable? Face, please. You're right, Rotherham United supporter. Good man. I never would have believed it if I hadn't seen it with my own two eyes. I've been keeping count of the passengers, and you two have actually broken the record for the most passengers ever on Happy Valley buses. Congratulations! Thank you very much. There is, of course, a prize for breaking this record. A prize? Did you hear that, Paul? There's a prize. I have here a cheque for £50. Fifty pounds? Yes, which I am pleased to give to our 100th passenger. Passenger? 
You mean the prize is for a passenger? Yes, 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 that's right. So, uh, if you'll excuse me. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You cannot get on this bus. Why? It's full. Mm. I don't want to ride. I've been riding my trusty bike here for 20 years. So, come on, get out of my way. Oh. Oh, congratulations, sir. You are a 100th passenger. I did... I think we should get out of here. Yeah. Silly me. I put it in reverse. He's happy. Never mind. I don't think we'll cut out for a life on the buses anyway. No. What are we going to do now? I think we'll go into agricultural crop protection. Sounds good to me. What is it? Selling scarecrows to farmers. 